the number one question that I get about canning is how much water do we put in our canner? We joke about it on Monday Night Live, okay? We, 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 you know, harass each other back and forth because for a long time, I would not answer that question. I would answer that question with, look it up in your manual. But here's the thing, people don't wanna do that, <laughs> okay? And people are risking expensive, irreplaceable, um, difficult to replace equipment by not finding out how to properly put water in your canner. So we're gonna run through this kind of fast and furious. This is gonna be a super short video. I hope that you stick around for it. And in the, in the description box below, there is a link to some extra racks that will fit in your Presto Pressure Canner. And if those don't work for you, check out through Amazon. You'll find where you can buy extra racks to go in whatever canner you have, okay? I'm speaking right now regarding Presto and it can migrate over to All American, okay? but. The rule of thumb for how much water you put in your canner is typically three inches or three quarts, okay? Now, I go with the three inch rule because on um, visual, it just works easy for me. How big is three inches? Okay, let's not pretend that we're fishermen here, okay? It's not that much. Three inches is that. Three inches is a dollar bill folded in half. Mark that, get your debubbler and mark that. Um, and then you can put your debubbler in there and see where the three inches is, okay? Find a way to mark it and check it. Don't assume, make sure that you have at least three inches of water in your canner. Now, here's the trick, okay? The three inches of water goes in before you put your jars of food in there. Yes, trust me on this one, okay? Put the water in there, then put the jars in there because otherwise you don't have the right amount of water. Um, all of the science that they base canning on and all of bringing it up to the right temperature and making sure the right temperature reaches the middle and that it's for the right amount of time and everything else is based on putting the water in the canner before you put the jars in. Okay, so put the racks in, put the water in, put the jars in. Now, Lisa, what happens if I'm only canning fish or meat in half pint jars. Awesome. Awesome for you. I think that's an excellent thing to do if you don't need a pint. It's definitely acceptable to do meat and fish in half pints, the eight ounce jars. Um, but you might have a little issue with that three inches of water, right? Because eight ounce jars are, you know, they're, hey, seriously, let me pull that back out again. <laughs> okay. Eight ounce jars, for the most part, if they're short and squatty, are going to be about that big. So what I highly recommend you doing is not submerging your jars, but getting an extra rack and putting doubling up the rack on the bottom of the canner. That will raise your jars just enough, okay? And then you can add the three inches of water and then you can add your jars. And it will be safe. You will not ruin your canner. You will not ruin your jars. You will have a safe shelf stable food that you can enjoy for a long time and an enjoyable experience to boot. So, how much water do you put in your canner? Three inches or three quarts. For the most part, run with the three inch rule, especially if you are canning proteins, okay? If you're canning beans, if you're canning meat, if you're canning fish, those run for an extended period of time. So, you wanna make sure that there's enough water in your canner to get through the entire process because you have to vent for 10 minutes to push all that air out and you have to run that canner at the right pressure for 75, 90 or 100 minutes. So there has to be enough water in the canner to do that. If you don't, you'll ruin your canner. It will pit, it will warp, it will just become a doorstop, seriously. So take care of your equipment, take care of your food, take care of your family. It's an easy, easy thing to do. All you need to do is please, if you have the manual, read it. If you don't have the manual, try Googling it. You can actually order them online too. But if you don't want to do that, then just trust me, three inches, three quarts. Run with the three inch rule, okay? And be safe because we want you to come back and we want you to continue canning all the things with us because canning all the things is fun. Okay, remember, if you like what we do here, please hit that like, subscribe, and share. Check us out on Instagram and Facebook. Link is down below for extra racks for your canner. Always a good thing to have. Until next time, be safe.